Hi there, I'm Francie White. I'm a Feldenkrais practitioner and a somatic experiencing practitioner here in Eugene, Oregon. And I am bringing to you today pelvic circles number five. So we're gonna see how many of these variations I can come up with and also how high I can count. Um, pelvic circles are great for whatever ails you. If you have any movement issues, any pain, especially back pain, but also this is really good for anxiety and depression. It just helps the nervous system start to learn how to regulate itself. Um, so come onto your back, <clears throat> bring your legs long, just sink into the floor. Prepare yourself to take your attention inside and listen. So bring your feet up to standing. And I always like to encourage you to go through the cardinal directions and the pelvic circles in the kind of basic way first. Um, just so you're priming the pump so that the pelvis knows what you want to do. So do the pelvic tilt. You're taking your tailbone towards the floor and away from your floor. Noticing how the, um, the movement is traveling up to your head. And if it's not, if, if it's being trapped somewhere, the movement is stopped somewhere, see if you can release the tension. And if you can't, just go ahead and let your head bob up and down to kind of give the nervous system the idea that maybe it wants to um, also participate in the movement. And I'm going to remind you also to always stay underneath any level of pain or discomfort. Even if it means you're not moving, just do it smaller, do it slower until it doesn't hurt anymore. And so when you've had enough of that, then press alternately on each foot and lift each side of your pelvis back and forth. Again, staying underneath any level of pain or discomfort. And noticing how the movement is traveling up through you. See if you can let go of any tension that's unnecessary. And notice how your head wants to also move with this movement. Left and right. And then pause. And when you're ready, take your pelvis in a circle. And the idea is just to have it smooth and round, as smooth and round as you can possibly do. We have, all, only goal we have here is to improve. That's all, all our goal ever is, is just to improve. So change directions when you're ready and you're just looking for smooth and round. And if you find any places where you have um, little square places or any little hiccups or pain, then just go through it slower and smaller and maybe just go back and forth a few times and then continue on. And so now that's pelvic circles. And the variation that I wanted to do today is to lengthen one leg and then bring the opposite ankle on above the knee. And we did this uh, before with the, the knee standing, but now we're gonna do it with the leg long. So begin doing these pelvic circles just the best you can, and this is gonna be even a little bit more difficult. So I'm gonna remind you also, it's not gonna be as big as it was before. Let it be really small. Let it be really slow. The nervous system is trying to learn. So we have two constraints here where we've got the hip is flat against the floor, so it doesn't have as many degrees of movement. And then we've got this knee weighing down on this side. So the pelvis is really having to try and figure out some new strategies for moving. And it's okay if your knee moves, and it's okay if your foot moves. You can just let them help with the movement. And it shows the foot and the knee how they are connected to the pelvis. So this is always a good thing. Change directions. And also notice that the head is still participating. You can probably feel this in your shoulders and in your chest. You could pick a vertebra in your spine 
and just feel how that vertebra is also doing circles. So I'm finding a little glitch like right here. And so all I'm gonna do is just go back and forth through it really small and really slow. And then continue on. So we don't wanna, we don't wanna beat it with a stick, but we just wanna kind of do it a few extra times and changing directions whenever you need to. And then let go of that and rest for a moment. And when you're ready, you can change feet. So doing this pelvic circles, you can let your knee help, you can let your foot help. And just feel how the pelvis is making circles against the floor. Staying underneath any level of pain or discomfort. Noticing where you may be holding extra tension and seeing if you can let it go. It's all these usual instructions. Changing directions whenever you need to. And there you have it. So bring your feet back up to standing and then just do the pelvic circles a few times again. And changing directions and just feel how wonderful this, this feels. Uh, my, my first Feldenkrais pr practitioner would call this a delicious movement. And it really is. It just starts to feel delicious. As your knees and your feet your chest, your head, your shoulders, when everything starts to come in and participate with your pelvis, this is gonna make walking easier, it's gonna make sitting easier. As I said, it's also really good for anxiety and depression. Um, and I, I have certainly gotten on the floor a few times when I felt like crap and it would make me feel better. So, um, thanks for joining me today, and be sure to join, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website, integratedselfeugene.com. Thanks so much, and um, have a great day.